COVID-19 forced doctors to put a local man in a medically induced coma. Now he has gone from being on life support to cracking jokes with doctors. Days ago, we showed you he woke up from his coma on Easter Sunday after receiving plasma from a recovered COVID-19 patient. And he keeps getting better. New 6's Crystal Moyer talked with his wife and the plasma donor. The plasma donor was from South Florida. He says once he learned more about Kevin's condition, he didn't think twice about jumping in his car and driving to Orlando to help. Just days ago, 52 year old Kevin Raffel was on life support fighting COVID-19. Now he's in recovery, feeding tube removed and off the ventilator. It has just been a huge blessing um, to to us to see these remarkable changes. We are, I feel like it's not baby steps anymore. These are leaps and downs. To get the potentially life-saving treatment, Kevin's wife Stacy took to social media to help find what she describes as a needle in a haystack, a plasma donor with the same blood type who recovered from COVID-19. That's when she met Jason Crocker through a mutual friend. His only real hope is plasma. You know, at that moment, I, I knew I had to drop everything and go, and I'm so glad I did. Without thinking twice, he drove to Orlando to donate plasma. That's a lot of big red buses. The sharing of this experience is one of the most amazing experiences of my life, and I'm really looking forward to going fishing with Kevin and his family. You know, I can't wait for that day. Stacy believes it was an act of God that connected them. She encourages other families who have loved ones battling COVID-19 to not give up. Don't take a passive role. Keep fighting. But ultimately, I do believe it's in God's hands. Doctors at ORMC say they aren't sure yet if the plasma therapy saved Kevin's life, but his treatment will be part of the research to determine the potential success. James Crocker tells me he is continuing to give back, working with community leaders to create a website to connect those that need convalescent plasma to potential donors. In Orlando, Crystal Moyer getting results, News 6.